Okay. When you braid it like that, you can really see just how straight you got it. It's not real straight. There's a couple little areas here that should be brought further up. You can see it like right here. I'll hit it down a couple more. Just trying to get a nice straight line there. That's essentially where we're shooting our flake back line. So we want the firing line to be straight, not all wavy and tenuous. We can start taking some thinning flakes off now to get these saw marks off of here. So we'll start at the tip, anchor it down here so that it support it. It's fanning out because it didn't have any ridges to follow initially, but that one there really fanned out. Of course, we can get it in the way back, but. Try and create these ridges. Now this one should be a little longer, except I didn't hit it high enough. Need that a little bit more. Okay, we've got a series of flakes going off in here, and now what I want to do is just bevel this back, get this edge a little bit real quick. Basically do the same thing all over again. And then we would flip it over shoot a longer set. We're establishing some convexity here from here over to here. We haven't got into here but the second pass we would. Of course normally you'd be working this edge over here and you'd be shooting flakes back in this direction too. So uh, typically what I would do because that's too far to reach from here to here I would do this uh, zigzag flaking and continue that until I had a working edge it was right over about in here and then I could shoot my flakes off and probably reach it. This thing isn't quite centered, I can see. Okay, I went ahead and prepared this platform. Take some flakes off of this face now. Start on this end and work toward the middle from either end. spaced a little too close so you can see how it kind of dived into that flick scar over there so I want to spread this out a little bit more I'm holding it up off the pad by the way if you leave it on the pad you're going to get little step fractures in here so I'm holding it down here with my hand on the back. create an edge and we'll show you a second pass. Okay. Taking a second pass over here in this face. Normally I would have this all bevel over here and have a working edge so I could work back, but just kind of give you an idea. The idea, in other words, is to increase the length of your flakes on each pass. It might take two or three passes. If it's narrower, you can do it in one pass.
that should do it. That gives you an idea here. What we've done is uh, we've got our flakes going in pretty much about halfway, or once we get this edge back, they'd be halfway anyway. And uh, got a nice series of flakes there. We're establishing some convexity, and uh, we would continue working that down. So now we'll work uh, something with pressure and show you that. Okay, now we're going to demonstrate the technique where you just put your pressure flaker right along the edge and push flakes across the face of the slab. You do it with this particular slab right here. I showed you this earlier. It's got one sawed edge and it's got one edge that hasn't been sawed. If you were to try and do that from this edge right here, you're going to need to abrade it a whole lot because it's very slippery and it's going to be hard to get a grip on there. So I'm going to probably do one edge with a straight end technique and then we'll zigzag the other edge. I'm going to choose this edge that's been sawed. It has the saw marks on here. It's going to make it a whole lot easier to uh, push these flakes off. It won't necessarily go all the way across, but uh, we'll show you what's involved with that. Okay, I'm going to try and keep this thing centered in the viewfinder. I braid at the edge a little bit more here just to put some silica dust on there so it'll so that the pressure flaker won't slip off. Put it right over here. You got to start these ridges going because each flake is going to follow the ridge from the previous flake. So we just take a small little one there to get started. I like to do diagonal flaking so that's what we'll be doing here. Just straightening that ridge out a little bit. using my finger back here to support the edge of the blade so that I can push right back toward my finger here. Space it out. I don't know if that's showing up in here or not. Yeah, okay. Hard to tell. Got it zoomed in so you can see the tip of the pressure flaker and what it's doing here. I've got this notch, of course, lined up with my pad here so that it doesn't touch any of the rubber on either side of the notch. The flake doesn't touch it. Okay. That one didn't go quite as far as I want it. up flake there. Okay, got it back. Straighten that ridge out again. A lot of noises in the big city today. have a platform so I have to get these lower ones from, from the base here. Okay, let me zoom out. So we've got this 